Hey everybody, we are back with another review, and today we got some slabs from eBay, we got a pre-order from Target, th three pre-orders from Target, and a pre-order from GameStop. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review. Let's see what we got. First things first, let's check out what we got from GameStop. What do we get here? Oh, we got the GameStop exclusive IG88 from the Bounty Hunters collection. Right here, this one does have damage on it though. Good thing I ordered two of these. I ordered another one after I ordered this one because I said I should probably have two because I'm going to eventually make a connection of all of these together. So, yeah, this one will probably be the one that I take out of box, and the next one hopefully isn't as damaged as this one. But at least it's convenient that it is going to be out of box. So there is IG-88 as they fill in the set here, just like they did the uh, one on Amazon. They kind of revealed it one little step at a time for the... Battle at Echo Base set. All right, next up, what do we get from Target? First thing we got in the box, so this is like an individually boxed box inside a larger box with a bunch of air pillows around the other box. So these came mint. There's just a lot of packaging. Uh, first one we got is Alice Falling right here from Target, of course. Very pivotal scene in her story. And there is the set right there. They did do a blacklight version of these top three, the queen and the rabbit. And um, we also got a flocked version of the rabbit. We got a glow-in-the-dark version of the Cheshire Cat. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do blacklights of the March Hare or Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if they're going to do that, but pretty cool. This is a really nice set. The flocked white rabbit is a, is a really cool pop, too, as well as the blacklight white rabbit and the other blacklight ones. So that's a cool one to have. All right, first up we got from the Star Wars collection is, what is this one? Ooh, the Stormtrooper. Because these all shipped separately. Um, I'm still waiting on C-3PO to ship. But I got the Stormtrooper now. I got uh, Luke on the way, and there should be a Vader in this box too. So I love the way that they did the cel-shaded look on this um, comic-wise. Uh, you can see on here they do have like blue highlights, but they kind of just went with the whole blue theme, I guess, for the Stormtrooper. But either way it is superb this is an amazing art style here um there is no way that you can dog on this it is not blacklight reactive which i think i've already done this in an epic collectibles video when i did their unboxing uh there's a few things that actually glow on them which is weird uh on their chest and their armor so if you get this pop check it out for yourself and let me know what you think so the stormtrooper has a little bit it looks like blacklight reactive stuff and again it has like a blacklight look to the box and you can see how they did this with the covers. So here is the cover right here where they got the inspiration for this Vader. Same thing with the Stormtrooper, as you can see. Uh, the Vader, the blue is blacklight reactive. So all the blue, light blue trim that you see on Vader is going to be blacklight reactive. So this one was used for the Stormtrooper and for C-3PO. So they have this cover was used for that, for both those two. This is the Vader one, and I don't, I don't know which one the Luke one has yet off the top of my head. I have them over there. I have the full set from Epic. They have special edition stickers, but I got the Target ones too, so, you know, I don't remember which one the Luke had, so. All right, that is my pickups from Target and GameStop. Let me, um, let's uh, kind of get these stacked up, or at least a little bit out of the way over here for now, because I don't want to damage any of these. Put those up there. We got some slab pickups here. What did we get? This first one is from 1963. We have the uncanny x-men this one came like super professional uh the way that he did this like he had like a digital inventory system i mean it shipped in this like slab box check that out there is strong guy and rogue on the front cover mirror island saga right there in the grip of the shadow king and this is number 278 from the uncanny x-men this is uh has a whole bunch of people in this one. Multiple Man, Siren, Lorna Dane, Legion, Guido Caracella, Amanda Stefan, Shadow King appearance, and then there's Strong Guy on the front. So pretty cool on that. Very, very dope. This is a 9-4 CGC slab. Very cool on that. I'm going to slide this one over here to the side. we got one more left to check out. Let's see which one this is. This is from 19... Nope, this isn't from 1963. Neither was that one, actually. That one was from 1991. So this is the 63, then. I don't know. That's weird. He put a... He, here I am over here, like, complimenting his inventory system, but then I'm like, they both have the same year on it. So the one I was 
expecting in the other box is actually this one. Here it is, the 63 X-Men. But it's 86. <sighs> I don't know. I have no idea what, what his coding system is. It was literally the same for both, so that was a little weird. I'm glad he got it right for this, to be honest with you. Um, this is the Hellfire Club and Nimrod first appearance. So, Hellfire Club, of course... Emma Frost, 208. Yamaha, keyboards and motorcycles. Very cool. So this is the 25th anniversary of Marvel from 1986, X-Men, 208. I was like, 63? Why the hell is it 63? That is super weird. Uncanny X-Men, first series, 1963. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you let me know down in the comments below which one was your favorite from this pickup. Was it anything from Target? GameStop, or these two slabs over here? Let me know down in the comments below. A lot of great stuff in here. Comic stuff was a little weird how he, he did the inventory system. I was complimenting him at first, and then I didn't even understand what the hell's going on with it. But at least he shipped them nice in these slab boxes, so that's pretty dope. Let me know down in the comments below which one was your favorite. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. One more content like this, subscribe for more. Because I do reviews every single day. Spoken for that, and then we're going to rest your day.